my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just rode freaking Hakuge for the fifth time. And this coaster is unbelievable. Like, I am in shock. This ride is my, so my good. My favorite RMC. I'm not just saying that because I'm in Japan. This ride is really powerful. It is awesome. ridiculously powerful. So, okay, we've done, I mentioned five times. Oh, we're going. Okay, we're going to go, sorry. Uh, we're going to go ride Acrobat. So the park closes in 15 minutes. And so Acrobat has a really slow dispatch. So we're going to go do that. But Hukuge. So fifth ride. So I've done three in the back, two in the front. And... Uh, it, it, man, this thing is incredible. I would say the elements as a whole are better in the front. I mean, obviously the drop is better in the back, but it, this coaster is ridiculously intense. I feel like it is definitely one of the upper level RMCs. And to me, it's amazing to ride this thing because no one has been talking about this roller coaster. But behind the wheel, no, th this isn't a roller coaster. That's a that's a Ferris wheel. So, anyways, uh, everyone is talking about you know because there's two new RMCs in 2019. Everyone's talking about Untamed at Wallaby Holland, which looks great, but no one is talking about Hakuge. And so to ride this thing is just un incredible. All right, so it's about to go through this thing. There it goes. It is amazing. Um, like I have an airtime headache right now because it is that. Good, and it might I add is one of the most beautiful picturesque rides I've ever seen. Um, we had a blast just filming this ride because it is so good looking. I mean, you just heard me say I rode this five times already. Guess how many times I've ridden everything else? I haven't even ridden most of these coasters already. I've done Steel Dragon once. I've done the Ultra Twister in the back once. Nothing else. Oh, I, well, and I did the Ferris wheel so I could get shots, but um, no, like none of the coasters I have ridden. Luckily, this is our first of two days, so we have plenty of time to do everything else. Let me just tell you already, if you come here, I don't be surprised if uh, this is a two-day park because, um, I don't know, going in, this was one of those places that everyone was like, yo, you only need one day here, but there are so many coasters here. This is basically the Cedar Point of Japan. So yeah, we are glad that we have two days here, and we are glad that we had two days at Fuji Q. So man, I like this place already. Probably the best park we've been to so far in terms of um, how it's uh, kept up. I, I think it's a very pretty park. August, dude, tell me about Nagashima Spa Land. What do you think of this place? Okay, so it's, it feels like Cedar Point. Almost. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. So. It's surrounded by water. It has a ton of rides. And like, I mean, it was funny because we're on Steel Dragon and like the end of return trip totally reminded me of, of Magnum. 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 It's a bunch of like airtime and it's got pretty good airtime. Of course, not ejector because like on, um, on Magnum, but it still has great airtime. Yeah. And just in general, all the rides here are really good so far. Yeah. I mean, that's why we say so far because we've not done much. <laughs> No, at we've all. Done, we've done like three or four rides, but it's already like probably my favorite park of the trip. I, I think, what do you think, Dan? Favorite park so far? Favorite park so far, the rides here are primo. Uh, like I was saying, I'm literally getting bruises on my thighs. Right now. Yeah. Everything. Everything is just well kept here. One thing that we noticed when we were uh, coming in here is because you have the water right here, they have this massive barrier preventing uh, the water from entering the park. And then on the other side of it, they have a moat. So in the cases that, there's corkscrew. Ah, sorry, my camera battery died. Like what, the switcheroo just happened? Anyway, so as I was saying, uh, it's nice because they've thought ahead so that they can have uh, a preventative measure in the case that the water levels are too high. So look, we're about to see this corkscrew going through that we have not ridden yet. This place totally reminds me of Cedar Point. This thing I've heard is the craziest free spin, so that's kind of cool. Man, I'm, I'm totally excited for day two here. This, I really like this park already. I'm so glad that I finally had the opportunity to come visit here. So, that's gonna do it from this vlog. Vlog number one from Nagashima Spa Land. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for day two. We'll see you guys next time.